Fred Varley was a very interesting painter. And he was a good friend of the Group of Seven, and specifically Tom Thompson and A.Y. Jackson. And these guys used to travel into Algonquin Park quite a bit and do some really fun, crazy painting. But when they were there, Tom Thompson was acting as their guide and their uh, Sherpa, really, uh, cooking and fishing for them, but also completely inspiring the rest of the guys with his fantastic paintings. Frederick Varley was invited to move to Canada by Arthur Lismer. He got a letter from Lismer and he decided, you know what, I'm going to Toronto. And there he met Thompson and the other guys and they did some really fun sketching on weekends. However, Varley was a pretty cantankerous kind of guy. He liked to argue and, and get in arguments with people. And uh, it made him very difficult to get along with. Frederick Horseman Varley was hired by the Canadian War Records Department to go to Europe, follow the Canadian troops in the action, and document what he saw. While he was there, he created some incredible paintings uh, that were very dark and showed the true side of what war really is. You can tell by the paintings how disturbed he really was by the war and how deeply this affected his personality for the rest of his life. What I like about Frederick Horseman Varley's work is you can see his personality in his paintings. You can see that darkness, that brooding, almost misery of his suffering as an artist. It, it's, it's hard to put your finger on, but I think the war really deeply impacted him and left him almost mentally disturbed or angry. You know, that's my own personal take on it. And when you look at his work, you can see the darkness in his work. Even in his um, paintings in Vancouver, there's a, they're full of color but there's a dark, somber feeling to a lot of his work. Bartley's legacy to the Group of Seven is, yes, it's his work, but the real legacy is that he moved to Vancouver. And when he moved to Vancouver, it gave the Group of Seven a truly national scope. He was a teacher out there, so he started to influence other artists, which is really what the Group of Seven is about. And importantly, he was there to sort of encourage Emily Carr. So uh, that's really what his big contribution to the Group of Seven was. He made them national. I mean, he was painting the Rocky Mountains. I mean, that's the other side of the country compared to Quebec and Ontario. And that really did lock up the Group of Seven as a Canadian institution.